Hi folks, I'm currently sitting in my car at 4 degrees outside and I'm doing a wee rant about I've owned my Model S now for two years and I've put a deposit on a Model 3 and I'll tell you my reasons why. Um, at the moment there's three choices for a Model 3. The standard range plus, which is got, supposed to have a range of 254 miles. A 0 to 60 time of 5.3 seconds. Um, and to get that on the road is £39,490. Um, the next level up from that is a long range, it's called. That's the four wheel drive version, whereas the short range plus was only rear wheel drive. Um, it's got a range of 348 miles, a 0 to 60 and 4.4, .4, and an on the road price of £49,990. Um, the top of the range model is called the Model 3 Performance, that's um, £52,990. It's got a range of 329 miles, a 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. It's also got 20 inch wheels, larger brakes, um, forward suspension and track mode. I quite really realised that um, the car's getting outdated now and the new Model 3 is just leaps and bounds ahead of it. Um, albeit it hasn't got um, the same storage space. Like this is a hatchback, the Model S is a hatchback and the amount of stuff you can put in the back if you needed to is unbelievable and I've very rarely needed the space and it can carry five people in comfort. Um, I think the Model 3 is more like for carrying four people in comfort. There's not as much room in the back, I don't think. Um, I think going to the Model 3 will miss my, the big 17 inch touchscreen. I love that and the car looks nicer, the Model S looks nicer in my opinion, it looks sleek. Um, the Model S is a big car though and sort of are looking forward to getting a slightly smaller car um, with all the latest features on it and uh, but you never know I might change my mind, I might keep this car, there's no other electric car that I really want. You've got the Kona EV, which looks quite ordinary. I did consider it, but I think they want about £35,000. And it's got a lot of gadgets in it, heads-up display and stuff like that. Um, but I don't think it, it doesn't excite me. Um, the same with the Kona. The Kona looks better, in my opinion, but it's a lot of money, thirty-five grand. Whereas for another five grand, i have got a Tesla with the supercharger network and all the software updates and the continual improvements and it's more efficient. Um, I think Tesla is like miles ahead of the competition. And 2020 is going to be a big year for electric vehicle releases. But the other cars are considered with the Mini, the new electric Mini. The wife doesn't like it, said it's a girly car. Um, um, and... The range isn't that good. I like the Honda EV, but wife doesn't like that either. Um, but they're more like city cars. Um, there's like nothing, even the Volkswagen ID that's coming out. It's alright, but it doesn't really float my boat. Um, I don't know, it's just Tesla seem to have some. Um, their cars look nicer. Um, they've got the autopilot. I oh, know I've got the basic oil, autopilot in my car, which is brilliant. Um, I just think um, there's nothing really out there apart from the, that MG ZS EV, which isn't a brilliant looking car, but for the money, just for the money alone, it's one of the cheapest um, electric vehicles out there. And do you know something? I had a test drive in it and I think it's pretty good. Um, I know actually, you know, I wouldn't mind having it myself. I wouldn't mind actually getting rid of my Tesla and having it. But the wife says, you know, I'm not getting rid of my Tesla to get one of them. So she's now saying I'll get it. So she's getting it for herself. I wanted a Model S two years ago. 
Um, I couldn't wait for the Model 3 to come and I put my money down on a Model S and I must admit I love the car to bits. But now that I've had it two years, I know everything about Tesla, um, experienced it and I'm one of these people, I can go from a Tesla and then go and buy a car at 500 quid and I'd still be happy. I can go from one extreme to another and uh, I can spend a fortune on a car and then the next car I get will be an absolute dog. So um, I've done it before, I, had, I bought a Subaru Impreza Turbo. And then I went from that to a smart car. Uh, that's just the way I am. And uh, now that I've had the Tesla for two years, I could honestly change it for something else. Although I have says that I would never go back to a petrol car again. Um, I love the electric driving experience, the regen braking, the preheating of the car in the winter. You, you just can't go back. I did have a notion of um, buying the new MG ZS EV, which um, I quite like the look of. And for the price, I mean the price is unbelievable. Um, for the bottom of the range one, it's 21 and a half grand. For the top of the range one, we have panoramic glass roof, adaptive cruise control, heated seats, a myriad of safety features, um, 23 and a half grand. So I went for a test drive, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and for the money, I mean I spent six to seven grand on this car, to get a top of the range EV that does 163 mile range, which isn't too far off what I'm getting, um, for 23 and a half grand. Um, I was seriously thinking to swap my car for it, but the wife, um, she got a test drive and now she said she wants uh, the car. So we put a £300 deposit, it's fully refundable as well, on the car, a white one, uh, it's free as well, free colour white, um, and they're saying February, round about February for the delivery. So I'm quite looking forward, to, I'm actually quite excited about getting that car, I've only done about 13,000 miles. Um, I don't really use it to its full potential, anybody buying one of these, um, the good thing about it is from 2020, the government benefit and kind tax goes to zero for, for any electric car, new or second hand. So I reckon next year, the demand for second hand Teslas, especially um, the Tesla supercharger network, which means that you can fly up and down from London to Glasgow um, using the supercharger network. It's so easily it's unbelievable and that's the major advantage Tesla's got over all the other manufacturers even though Audi, e-tron and the Mercedes EQC um, everybody's making really luxury and beautiful cars they still can't compete with the Tesla, the Tesla supercharger network um, and that's another reason why I'm going for the Model 3 is because this car jack can charge up to 120 kilowatts, 130 kilowatts, say. Uh, but the Model 3, once they bring out the, the next generation of superchargers, it's going to be able to charge up to uh, 250 kilowatts, which is unbelievable. Um, so, yet again, the Model 3's got a better battery chemistry and different cell structure than my car. So even though the Model 3 is cheaper, than my car, um, it was touted as like the ba a basic model to the Model S, it's got everything in it that's better, it's got a better battery, it's got better range, it's got better efficiency, it's got all the latest updates, um, it's like these cars are like mobile phones and my car's getting left behind big time, and as I said, I'm not happy about that, I'd rather get um, a newer one, if possible. I suppose one of the advantages I've got with my car is when I bought this, I've got free supercharging for life. And I'm about to undertake a trip down to Luton to visit some relatives and it won't cost me a penny. The great thing about Teslas is you get over free over-the-air software updates without having to pay a penny and the car gets just gets better and better, adding new features all the time. Unfortunately, um, 
it seems like lately uh, all the good stuff's going to all the latest cars because mine's is only two years old um, I'm not getting half the stuff that the new cars are getting and it's really to be honest pissing me off um, you know paid a lot of money for this car it's only two years old and yet I'm not getting features that cheap the cheaper new cars are getting um, and definitely feel that I'm getting left behind another thing that the latest cars are getting is a uh, Netflix able to watch Netflix um, when you're parked somewhere and my car's not getting that either it's another um, my computer isn't fast enough in the car or whatever the Model 3 is more efficient so it goes a lot further for the same battery size my car is supposed to be rated at 300 mile range but in reality if I do a full charge on my car I'll say 240 miles on the screen and then you can take um, even that with a pinch of salt will probably do say 220 miles realistically if you're on a motorway on a nice warm day in the middle of winter um, you'd be lucky to probably get 170 miles doing 70 mile an hour on the motorway whereas a Model 3 long range well they're saying you should get at least 250 mile uh, realistic driving uh, although they claim 329 so the Model 3 is more efficient, um, it's got all the latest hardware for uh, fully autonomous driving, my car, uh, the cameras in it are black and white, the new Model 3 is all colour cameras, I've got a sentry mode in the car but um, you can't actually download the footage on a memory stick, it goes back to Tesla but I can't access it on the later cars you can put a memory stick in and download all the data and watch video footage of people that looking in your car or damaging your car but my car hasn't got all the latest games that um, are sort of a worthy of Xbox One type quality one of them is called Cuphead um, it's a racing game and it looks absolutely fantastic when you watch the videos of it of other uh, drivers but yeah again my car computer isn't uh, capable of playing that game so it's outdated on my car you can have the car in creep mode which means that it acts like a traditional automatic car um, when you're coming up to a junction um, the car will regen brake right down to about 8 miles an hour and then it will slowly roll forward and until you put your foot on the brake pedal and bring the car to a stop well, they've just introduced a one pedal driving mode on the cars, which my car isn't getting. And um, what that means is the car will regen right down to almost zero miles per hour and actually apply the brakes. So very smoothly, it seems. And basically what it means is uh, you've got true one pedal driving. Now the Nissan Leaf, I've, ha I've had that for a while and it's took Tesla a while to catch up to the Nissan Leaf. But basically it means you can drive the car without touching your brake pedal whatsoever. You only use your brake pedal in an emergency. And everyone that's got it said it's absolutely fantastic and amazing. But I'm not getting it in my car. So that's another reason um, I want to change. One of the latest updates I've done on the car is um, increased the performance on all the Model 3s and the latest Model S's and X's. And my car doesn't qualify because the latest cars are called the Raven Editions and that means it uses a Model 3 drive motor in the drivetrain and my car hasn't got that so I don't get a 5% power increase. Some of the advantages I see of having my car at the moment is um, I've got the massive 17 inch touchscreen which I love, I've got the powered uh, tailgate which I can sit in the car open and close um, I've never relied on that a lot I like how the car presents the door handles when you're walking up to it and uh, if somebody wants in the car you know the door handles I can pop the door handles out and they just need to pull it whereas the new Model 3 I think every single person that I come across um, that I want to get in my car when I'm actually sitting in it I'll have to go out and give them a tutorial on how to open the door um, how the door handles work and also how to get out the car um, as well because you've got to push a button to get out the car 
And then I started looking at uh, the Model 3 uh, Standard Range Plus, which is £9,000 cheaper uh, than the Long Range. And then I started questioning myself to say, why don't I get that? The other thing about the Model 3 I've noticed is it's got an onboard 11 kilowatt charger. Well, my Model S has got an 18 kilowatt onboard charger. And that makes a difference when I'm charging at public chargers and I'm not using like rapid chargers. Um, at least my Model S will charge a lot quicker than sitting in a Model 3 with just 11 kilowatts. The long range Model 3's got similar performance to my car at the moment. Mine's has got a 0, 060 and 4.2. Uh, the same in the long range is 4.4 .4, but Tesla uh, I've just announced a, a power upgrade for all Model 3s and the latest um, Model S's and my car isn't included in that so it means that realistically the Model S is either the same performance as my car or even maybe slightly quicker. Then I thought um, get the long range Model 3 in white. White's a free colour by the way and when I bought my uh, Model S, white pearl multi-coat, they were charging £1,500 and I paid that because I really wanted a white car um, and now Tesla have changed it and white multi-coat is now free which is unbelievable and now they're charging, for the Model 3 anyway, a £1,000 to have a black one and I prefer white so I really don't want to give them a £1,000 for a black car and at the moment on Tesla's own UK site, they've got a couple of, they call it inventory cars, uh, a black a black one and there's a black one with a tow bar, um, but it really bugs me that they want a thousand pound for a black car, uh, really my honest opinion, black and white should be the three colours and add money on to whatever other colours they want, but there's no way I'm paying a thousand pound for a black car. And in my opinion, I've had a black car and any little mark on them shows up. And Tesla haven't got the best reputation at the moment for people picking up their cars. And there seems to be paint defects. Um, and the last thing I want is a black car with paint defects. At least a white car seems to hide a multitude of sins. Actually, my thoughts were I'd really like the Model 3 performance. And then when I looked into the insurance costs, they're sky high. Um, at the moment, my Model S, I can insure it for roughly £350. Um, but looking at the performance, um, the cheapest I found was over £600, and a hell of a lot of places are wanting well over £1,000. Um, and I think also the 20 inch wheels that come with the car are let um, summer tyres on them. Uh, and as we're coming into winter, I think um, that might be a bad idea. Plus, seems to be a lot of people on the internet that have hit large potholes and whatever, and the 20 inch wheels have just cracked, and the tyres are like over £300 each. On Tesla's website, it's saying the uh, Standard Range Plus is available from February, and the long range in the Model 3 performance, they're saying December, but Tesla website's notoriously optimistic, so they may have a, a last quarter push to get cars out, so you, I might be lucky and get it in December, but realistically you're probably looking at next year, and then that poses a problem in the UK, do you wait till March to get the new registration? And then once I started looking at the Standard Range Plus, things start seem to make sense. Um, it's £9,000 or so cheaper than the, the Long Range. It looks exactly the same on the outside and the inside. The only things different are some of the speakers aren't activated. There's 14 speakers, I think, in the Long Range. So five of them aren't activated. Um, you don't get a subwoofer. Uh, the map system, um, you don't get satellite and maps. I don't think you can get music streaming. Um, so for nine thousand, but and the performance is slightly um, 
worse by 0.3 seconds as opposed to 4.4 uh, and obviously it's just been updated the power increase 5% power increase people are saying it's down to the 5 second mark now or even the 4.9 so does 9,000 pound make that much of a difference so now I can't decide what I want I'm going round in circles half of me wants the, the, the performance in the Model 3 performance and that's people are now saying it's down in the 2.9 second mark um, 2.8, 2.9 second mark to 60 which I'd love to have that but in reality, day to day driving you don't use it um, but I'd like to have it but the 20 inch wheels are putting me off and then then my head says no I'll just keep what I'm getting the stand the long range and then my head then says why am I paying 9 grand extra to have something that looks exactly the same way so at the moment I push the button for a long range but <laughs> it could change I could phone them up and say do you know change that to something else um, or I might even just keep my car